Mitigating production risk. Shipping and receiving practices. Before shipping plant material, it is important to pay close attention to nursery licenses, federal regulations, and state regulations. Be aware of state laws. Many states require proof that plants are sold and shipped from a licensed nursery. Federal regulations require nursery stock certificates to ship in and out of state as well as verification that the phytosanitary certification meets the requirements of the location being shipped to. Federal regulations also include verifying that shipments are free of quarantine pests and or injurious pests. Now, let's look at three important aspects of mitigating production risk in the receiving area inspection of plant material, record keeping, and sanitation. Inspect plant material for pests and diseases. Quarantine any suspicious material before it enters your production area. If unsure of pests, send to a diagnostic lab for identification and to determine proper control measures. Dispose of regulated pests according to regulations. When record keeping, maintain records that will allow you to trace back plant material should problems arise. These records should include date received, inspection date, pests or pathogens found, appearance of roots, leaves, flowers, and any other descriptive information that will help identify the problem. Sanitation must be taken seriously in the receiving area to prevent the spread of pests. Proper sanitation includes frequently cleaning docks, carts, and tractors. Having a shipping and receiving dock made of concrete makes it easy to clean. Protecting plant material by wrapping shipping crates with plastic wrap to help reduce plant damage during shipping will also reduce debris from littering the docks. Now let's recap. Before shipping plant material, pay close attention to federal and state regulations as well as nursery license protocol. When receiving plant material, be sure to inspect for pests and diseases. Maintain records that will allow you to trace back plant material should problems arise. And finally, minimize the spread of pests by frequently cleaning docks, carts, and tractors. Funding was provided by the Southern Risk Management Education Center in partnership with the National Institute of Food and Agriculture.